comes to barbering, you know, I really feel like I've always had this passion for barbering. You, you were cutting I mean? way back in the day. I was cut back in the day, you know what I mean? But, you know, when you're young and you're a young brother and you grow up in the area where I grew up in Kirkland, there's not a lot of barbershops, like black barbershops. There wasn't even really even barbershops, period, period yeah. like at all, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, my dad used to take me down to um, this spot called Johnny Guillory's. And it was down off of Rainier. I don't know okay. if y'all remember. I mean, you might, you guys nah, remember. Uh, uh, these uh, Chubby and Tubbies used to be mm. like the spot, like right across the street. Like you clothing can, store, right? Yeah, you can get everything there. You know what I mean? So Columbia <laughs> that's that real city? town you, you, yeah. Columbia by Columbia City. It's not that far, but oh, it's it's that way. It, yeah. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. you know, just you know, being young and going to the barber shop with, the, with my pops and. I had a lady barber too, you know, she was hella cool. She used to hook me up and give me, you know, designs and stuff. And Damn. and then, um, you know, he ended up moving. He ended up moving to uh, downtown Seattle on a high rise, you know, and I'm about, now I'm about 13, 14, and I'm like trying to get my hair cut pretty regularly and, it, you know, it was way too expensive, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, I talked to my parents. I'm like, look, you know, why don't y'all just buy me some clippers for my birthday? I'll just teach myself how to cut my own You hair. remember what they bought you? What, what was, it what was, was walls. Walls? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was walls. Like the what is it? Detailers? Detailers? <laughs> no, they didn't have the detailers. <laughs> detailers. It, it no. just said wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it just said wall. We got one <laughs> clipper. They were black and silver. I'll never forget them. And I never even had no trimmers either. Like I was lining myself up just with flipping it over. Straight clippers. Yeah, just oh man, clippers. Big, hey, giving yourself the part, the big part. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to do some kind of designs with actual clippers, no Yo. no trimmers. You know what I mean? That's fire. So, you know, I just... And that's uh, in school. You're cutting in school pretty much at that point. Like, you're in high school, after high I'm, school? You know, I'm 14, 15, okay. and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like a, you know, a freshman, you know, cutting senior yourself. in high school, cutting mm-hmm. myself, starting to, you know, start with a real nice even, and just try to, you know, mm-hmm. get to where Save I can actually money, get, get a, a fade, mm-hmm. and, you know, then worked on my friends and family, and, and then it was just kind of something I actually did, you know what I mean? I just did it on the side, and I always did other things, and it wasn't like I was really trying to, like, really do it at that time. Mm-hmm. But um, there's kind of an interesting story is that um, when I was uh, in ninth grade, my English teacher, you know, he was like, okay, what he would do was he would have everyone, because back then, you know, I went to a three-year high school, you know, now they're four-year high school. So ninth grade was still in junior high school. So he was like, you know, once you left school, he would make you write a letter on your goals and what you want to do when you graduate high school. And so what he would do was we'd write this letter, and then he would give you that letter when you graduated, oh, you wow. know, yeah. and he just let you yep. see, like, okay, what you've been up to, and now are you really going to try to go do this? Mm-hmm. So my whole thing, when I wrote my letter, I said that I wanted to be a, a celebrity barber and work on the Arsenio Hall show. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. That had to be the biggest show. <laughs> That's crazy. That yeah, was, that you was know, so that huge, was yeah. like the late 80s, early 90s. It was like major. Like, yeah. like Arsenio Hall was yeah. like that. He was dude. a guy. Yeah. And so I really wanted to do that, you know what I mean? So I felt like then I even I had I had like a like a like an interest in it. It was there. You know what I mean? It was, it was already like, there. It was there, you know what I mean? And once I graduated, boom, he gave me that letter and I, I kind of forgot about it, you know what I mean? Cuz now I'm playing ball and now I'm like now my mind is like, "Oh, I want to go to college and play ball. I want to get in the league." And I kind of forgot about barbering, you know what I mean? But when I got that letter, it kind of still sparked like, "Oh, yeah. I still kind of want to do this." But I never really pursued it yeah, yeah. you know what i mean like i went to college and you know kind of the typical thing. i got injured and this and that and i still was just kind of cutting hair on the side but i had other professions you know it's cool how i just never left you know what yeah. I'm saying? yeah like, yeah so what else did you do you was doing what so what, you came out of school and you went what, what so, path did you take so what happened when I, I got back you know from college you know I, was, I went to school at glendale community college in california and things that worked out i fractured my back I was in a full body brace mm-hmm. for like a year. And oh, so shit. I came back and then I was about 20, 20, 20 years old. And I was like, man, I just got to get a job, you know. And mm-hmm. I started working at this company called Genie Industries as a material handler. And I used, to mater- I used to deliver material to the welders. Make a long story short with that, I ended up uh, becoming a welder. So then I was a certified welder. And then I became a, a supervisor of the fabrication department at that Genie's. I was over there from like mid 90s to like early 2000s i was there for a minute you know Mm -hmm. and then after that got laid off (laughs) because it was 9 11 got laid off then i went back to school and became a real estate appraiser okay i was appraising houses for about eight eight nine years and then it was from that it was like getting towards the housing market crash and so i was starting to be like man i gotta get out of this and that was when i started coming to chop it up 
coming to chop it up in like 06. Okay. 07, 06 was literally the first time I had been in a barbershop since I was like 13 years old. Oh, shit. Wow. Like, damn. It was the first time, like, coming, you and know, like to 30, chop it up. How, how, how old are you? Like, 30? How old are you? Uh, at right now? Time? No, at, 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 that, at that point. Oh, yeah. at that time, I was like 35. Well, you got to be making good, too, though. At, yeah, at you doing know, that I joint. mean, it was 2003 when I was making good money. Right. But as the years was going on, it was just getting weird. Yeah. Because I can kind of see what the market was doing because it was getting closer to that crash. 2008 crash. So right. it was like 2006. That was when I was coming to the shop. It was 2006 when I just started seeing it. I was doing a lot of a lot of um, REOs, which are real estate owned properties, which are basically foreclosures. You know what I mean? And and back in those days, a lot of these brokers were putting people in these loans that yeah they couldn't, they couldn't afford. afford it's you know what I mean? Stuff, yeah. And um, but anyone could buy a house. Right. Two thousand. You, right. you didn't have to have good credit. Nothing. You could buy a house, but you got you were getting messed up. Later down the line, you were going to get messed up. So. I started seeing all this stuff. They were having us do all these things. I was, you know, they're making us do way more for less money. And it was just like, you know, I got to make a change.